Have you ever found yourself in that diagnostic black hole? That hole you fall into when you've spent hours trying to find the solution to your customer's concern and haven't gotten any closer then than you were when you started. Well, you may have forgotten a very important first step early in your diagnostic process. Want to know what that first step is? Stick around and watch today's edition of The Trainer. Today's episode is brought to you by Autel. Visit Autel at www.autel.com. You've done everything right in the diagnosis. You've identified the DTCs causing the check engine light to come on. You've read up on what each means and what the criteria is the ECM uses to set those codes. And you've also read up on the system operation so you fully understand how it works and how to test it. But even after hours of trying, you don't seem to be getting any closer to the causes. If that's the case, you may have missed a critical step. One you should take in every troubleshooting task you're assigned. What is that missing step? Checking for any related technical service bulletins, or TSBs, that the manufacturer may have issued. In some instances, it'll be a new part that has been released by the factory to correct a condition that was in the original equipment part. Many cases, in fact, depending on who you talk to, up to 70% of the cases involving a DTC, it's a matter of reprogramming. And in that case, you can troubleshoot all day long and not figure that one out. So don't waste your time. Make sure one of the first places you go when you're doing your initial homework is to look at technical service bulletins that might be applicable to the code or symptom that you're trying to troubleshoot. Typically, if there is a reflash required to solve the problem, the TSB will list the calibration codes of the modules that are affected. And you can compare the calibration numbers in the module of your customer's vehicle to that list to see if it applies to your concern. You can use mode nine of your global OBD2 scan tool to see the calibration of the controller in the vehicle. If it falls in the TSB range, a reprogramming or flash will be needed to fix the problem. Programming is a learned skill, and I encourage you to get formal training in the process before you take this on. You can start by visiting the National Automotive Service Task Force website at www.nastf.org. There you'll find links to the various OE service sites and helpful information on obtaining your VSP or Vehicle Security Professional registration. You'll need this in order to access the files you'll need to program from the OE's website. If you do make the decision to offer programming services to your customers, here's a few points for you to consider. First, keep in mind that programming a vehicle can take a considerable amount of time. Depending on the manufacturer, programming times of eight hours or more is not unheard of. So make sure you know what to expect before you begin. In addition, during the programming process, the modules may activate any number of components on the vehicle, and this is going to put quite a strain on the battery. And it's critical to maintain that battery at a certain voltage level as specified by the individual manufacturer, or it could affect how well your programming process turns out. A battery maintainer, like this one from Chlor Automotive, is a lot different than the shop charger you may have sitting off in one of your bays. Deciding to rely on your shop battery charger in lieu of buying the correct tool for the job could result in an irrecoverable fault during the programming process, which will render the controller useless and require its replacement. You're also going to need a device that will allow you to connect the vehicle to your PC. It's called a pass-through device, and there are a lot of them available on the market. To find the ones that have been vetted by the manufacturer of the vehicle that you want to program, 
go to the National Automotive Service Task Force, access that manufacturer's service information site, and you can read all the information you need there on their requirements to perform a reprogramming service on their vehicles. And of course, you're also going to need access to the internet to either download the service files or actually carry out the programming process from the manufacturer's cloud. Make sure that you use a hardwired internet connection. Don't rely on Wi-Fi. The more people who are on your Wi-Fi service, the more your bandwidth is going to suffer. And any interruption in your internet stream could interrupt your programming process and cost you and your customer an expensive controller. All of this is going to require an investment in tooling and service subscriptions. So what if you don't do a whole lot of programming or foresee a huge need for programming in your shop? Are there options? You can always take it to your local dealer and pay them to do the programming for you, but that can be expensive and time consuming. In many parts of the country, mobile techs can be hired to come to your shop and perform the needed service. One option is to make use of the remote expert service offered through Autel. If you already own an Autel Ultra, MS919, or MS909 scan tool, you'll only need a few of the following accessories, many of which already came with your tool. Of course, you're gonna need the Maxisys VCMI updated to the latest firmware. You're going to need the included OBD2 cable that came with the tool, as well as the USB cable that was included in your original purchase. In addition, you're going to need an Ethernet to USB adapter, and I'd also recommend a good quality Ethernet cable. Finally, make sure that you have the latest updates on your tool, including the Remote Expert app. Remote Expert is a unique service in that it's peer-to-peer. -peer. It's a community of sorts that allows you to connect with vetted programming experts when your customer needs a programming to solve their concern. Here's how it works. Need to have a module programmed? Save time and money and hire an experienced programmer directly from your tablet. Remote experts are here to professionally complete your module programming jobs. Just update your software and go. Effortlessly create an order with a tap on the screen to load a vehicle scan report. Extensive vehicle and system coverage with matched experts. Experts are on standby for immediate access. Online payment is simple and secure. Here's how it works. The technician connects the tablet to the vehicle via the VCI or VCMI. Then plugs the Ethernet cable into the tablet to establish a stable connection between the vehicle and the remote expert. Experts will use Autel, OE, and third party devices to complete programming via an Autel Maxi Flash VCI or VCMI and the remote expert box. Automatic server matching to ensure low latency connection. Communicate with the expert through voice, text, or video in real time. Expert feedback ratings promote trustworthiness. Expert services at your side. Of course, the fees that you negotiate with your provider are costs that should be passed on to your customer. It's the cost of having their vehicle fixed. Now, if it's opposed to sending your vehicle to a dealer or waiting for the mobile tech to stop by, this may be the solution that your shop is looking for. Other companies do offer remote programming services, but the Autel experience is unique in that Autel is only the intermediary, the facilitator, helping connect you with experts in the industry. The only thing that you need is the appropriate scan tool and accessories I mentioned earlier. No pass-through device is required. And Autel does take the time to vet those who apply to be the remote experts ensuring that they have the liability insurance, training, programming experience, hardware, and everything else that's required to ensure a proper programming procedure. 
And that leads me to an opportunity that these other services don't offer. Do you have experience in programming? Would you like to help your fellow technicians who need that type of expertise? Well, then consider applying to become a remote expert with the program. For more information on the remote expert program, either as someone who needs the help or someone who could provide that help, visit cloud.autel.com forward slash expert. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.